first three rounds of the competition, I really liked the look of the attacking structures that the Rebels were using. The combination of Kirtley Beal and James O'Connor, first and second receiver, was really starting to work well. Beal's out, and it's going to be this man, James O'Connor, who's really going to have to step up into that first receiver role. We know he can do it. He's put a little bit of size and a little bit of weight with his long off-season, and I think that will play into his hands. He's a player, as we know, can work really, really well down a little short side. He's that sort of guy who can get the team moving forward and take opportunities like this against the Waratahs on the weekend. A little four-on-two opportunity. Love to see him at times beat that first player and then look to keep the ball alive because I think that's when he's at his best. He always wins his collisions. He always gets across the game line. Whether he's at first receiver or as he is here in this second receiver role where he's a little bit wider out, he is a real threat to the game line. Doesn't matter that he's 12 metres away. He gets a pass that half stops him here. Doesn't have any of the other options. Turns off the left foot, beats two across the game line again. However, this is the thing that I want to see more from James O'Connor. I want to see him hitting the ball at pace and then looking as his first option to distribute the ball. Offloads like this could really get the Rebels going forward. He's going to be a major player for them over the next few weeks and I can't wait to see him in that first receiver's role.